Hello everyone. In this video, we will try to see serial communication programming 8051, how to receive a data using your serial communication. In your previous video, we have seen like uh, how to transmit a data using mode 0. Here, how to receive a data using your mode 0. That is what we can able to see here. So we can directly get into the experiment. So those who have not seen your previous video, please go and see your previous video so that some basic concepts which you are going to see can be clear and we can able to get to this experiment. So the experiment which is given to us, so write an assembly language program to receive uh, keyboard information. So whatever I am going to give in terms of alphabets with respect to keyboard, that should be available in my port 1 of my 8051. So using your serial communication and mode 0. So whatever character I am going to print uh, from my keyboard, that should be visible and you have to use your mode 0. That is what's my requirements of this experiment. So in this case, so uh, we have to understand how to send an information through keyboard. Right? Previously, I have given an alphabet E. So we have transmitted successfully. So now uh, I am going to receive a data from keyboard and I am going to display it in port 1. So that is what it means. So again, uh, these are again going to be the basics. What are the modes of operations? We have seen already seen those experiments. So mode 0 is going to be a synchronous communication mode. So uh, in terms of SCON register, all these things we have already seen in our previous experiment itself. We will just try to uh, enter inside mode 0. Again, only change which we are going to make here is uh, this one. So previously it was transmission. So this is going to be 0. Now it is going to be receiving. So I am going to have the value of 1. So SCON, if I want to uh, determine my SCON, so it should be getting the value of 0, 1H. If it is going to be hexadecimal or 0, uh, sorry, it should be 10H, zero sorry. 10H zero or uh, 0001, 0000. So, right. So, SCON should be having the value of 10H. Since it is going to be operated in mode 0 and it is going to receive a data from your keyboard. So, SCON register. So, the solution, your SCON register should be having the value of 10. So here I am going to receive a data, right? So I have to concentrate on my RA flag or RA flag bit. So it is for monitoring. Again, the same uh, thing to verify whether your uh, receiving is completed. So I can able to use it. So whatever value I am going to type inside my keyboard, that should be reaching my SBUF register, right? So after that, I have to again clear my RI using my uh, clear RI instruction. Again, I have to move to uh, step one so that whatever I am going to enter uh, from my keyboard, it is going to take its position and after that it is going to uh, do the operation so that your whatever value in terms of keyboard is going to receive your SBUF register. So keys I am pressing is going to be moving your moving inside your SBUF register. So this SBUF register information has to be moved inside your 8051. This is what your communication. So what determines your uh, completion of your receiving operation? This RA flag register. So previously it was transmission, now it is completely receiving. So we can directly move into your experiment. So this is for, uh, we have already seen, uh, this is to avoid uh, the interrupt location. So we can able to use this interrupt location. After that, I am moving the value of SCON register with 0001, 0000 byte or I can able to use it as 10H also. So here I have to check my receiving flag or uh, receiving interrupt flag, RA flag, right? So I am going to check my RA flag. So if I am going to make sure my RA flag is getting completed, which means my receiving of data is completed so that whatever value I have received in my SBUF register will be moved to your accumulator. So why I can able to make sure uh, my keyboard is going to be getting those values because if nothing is given in terms of your uh, information with respect to uh, serial communication, the directly uh, 8051 is going to be connected to your keyboard. Right? So if you are going to connect it in terms of your keyboard, so that is going to be a serial communication protocol which is being connected with uh, 8051. 
so while we are uh, seeing with respect to kit uh, esa uh, uh, 8051 in that kit also we have seen uh, whatever you are going to type in terms of program also will be reaching your 8051 using your serial port 8051 whatever uh, i am going to dump inside my 8051 again all the informations of 8051 whatever i am going to load in terms of data as well as your program it is going to be dumped inside by your program of your pc is with your uh, serial communication so if nothing is given whatever i am going to press in my keyboard that will be reaching my sbuf register so that sbuf register is going to be moved inside my accumulator so after that point i am going to clear my ri register after clearing my ri register so that i can able to make sure the next receiving will happen right so i am clearing my ri register so at this point of time at the initial position your ri will be zero so after that point of time uh, i have to move the informations of your accumulator to port 1 that is what information which is given to us right so whatever alphabet i am going to type here that should be appearing inside my port 1 of your 8051 so yes jump here so that it is going to be jumping back here so all these things is going to be again again uh, done in loop so here we have to understand this is going to be your sbuf register sbuf register it is going to get the informations from keyboard if nothing is given it is going to take an serial input from your keyboard and it is going to do the process of uh, getting an character by character from your keyboard uh to your 8051 but it's not moving to 8051 it is going to move to your sbuf register from sbuf we can able to move to accumulator from accumulator we can able to move to any port right all these things are going to be the sequence of things which is has to be done so we can able to uh, directly move inside our programming so uh, this is a program so i have kept this program uh, in my kail so on the corner of your uh, video you can able to see my keyboard so all this uh, both the things are interfaced in real time so that we can able to see whether i am going to get the characters which i am going to type here so yes perf it is going to get the value from your from my uh, keyboard and after that it is going to send the information to my accumulator and after that accumulator value is going to be sending inside my port 1 so in this uh, i can able to get inside my debug sorry so i can able to get inside my uh, debug mode so which is going to be uh, showing my uh, serial port uh, serial communication informations here and after that i should be getting my port values of my uh, p1 right so p1 port i can able to take it and i can able to keep it this side so all the information which ever i am going to type uh, should be reaching on the other end right so here i can able to uh, run the program and i can able to uh, check my results how it is going to vary so i can able to uh, move the information so your escon register is going to uh, have this values so this is going to be uh, 10h and after that i can able to directly run it so that we can able to visibly see how the data is getting transmitted so the port 0 is not getting any values right so it is going to be serially uh, receiving the data so ri interrupt so this is the delay right which we have initiated so escon register is going to get the value of 00 10 and after that 11 so that correspondingly if this is flag is fed so r i is becoming one so that it can be shuffling between 10 and 11 so this is going to be correspondingly enabled so that it is going to be again and again repeatedly used in my loop so the value which i am going to type here so i think uh, the keyboard is visible so i can able to enter a character a so a is going to be uh, 61 right so we have already seen so in terms of 61 uh 8421 8421 right so 8421 so it is going to be 4 and 2 so it is 6 and after that it is going to be 1 so 61 so like the same way whatever uh, things i am going to type so correspondingly i can able to so i am going to type my b so it is going to be 62 so if it is going to be yes correspondingly uh, i will be getting my values with respect to yes so yes is going to be having the value of 73 
and again if i'm going to press my a a is going to be getting the value of 61 if it is going to be z so it is going to be getting the value of 7a so these are the things with respect to ascii values of the keys whichever i am pressing so i can able to see my outputs in terms of my port 1 so what i am doing i am uh, receiving information from my keyboard to my uh, 8051 using my serial communication so i am viewing my outputs with respect to port 1. So, if this port 1 is connected to an LCD, so that will be correspondingly operated in that fashion and I can able to display those values inside my LCD also. So, this is also feasible. So, this is how we can able to uh, receive a data from my uh, keyboard to my 8051. Right? So, like this I can able to uh, get from uh, other inputs also through uh, serial communication and as well as keyboard also using my serial communication. Thank you for your patient listening.